Let's take a look at the battery and the charging station for the T40 and T30. So this right here is the battery for the T40, and this is the battery for the T30. You can see the footprint is actually exactly the same. This battery here, the T40 battery, actually fits in the T30. We haven't tried to power it on, but it does fit. The ratings on here, this battery is 29,000 milliamps. This battery is 30,000 milliamps. So not that much bigger of a battery as far as capacity. What we do have is a better cooling system on the T40's battery. So you see these vents that go through the battery. And then this is the charging station for the T40. You can see this would sit on the ground right here. We have actually fans that blow onto the battery and the battery just slides in the top of the charging station and sits down on top of the charger port. And this is the power supply for the charger. This power supply to operate it at full efficiency, you actually need three phase and 380 volts uh, to operate at full efficiency. You can run it on 220 volts single phase as well. Let's take a look at the T30 charger. This is the T30 charger. This charger has two leads on it, not just one, but it still only charges one battery at a time. So people ask how fast these batteries charge, how many batteries and chargers do you need to operate for both systems? We don't know 100% yet on the T40 how many batteries you need, uh, but one charger is all you need. And we're thinking three batteries. DJI says two, we think three. On the T30, you need three batteries uh, for sure. Some guys have actually gotten four. And so kind of what we're recommending is maybe three batteries on the T40 and maybe add a fourth just in case. You can actually use the T30 charger to charge the T40 battery as well. The T40 charger has two power supplies on the back, 240 volts, and it'll pull about 35 amps. So it'll use about uh, 80 or 8,500 8, watts. So 8,500 watts mean about a 9,500 watt generator for this and about a 12,000 watt generator for the T40. We'll move right into the controllers for both of these drones. The controllers do have a bit different software. We won't go through that today, uh, but the software, generally speaking, is very similar on both of these remotes. So the T30 remote here, the T40 remote here. You can see the screen size, the T40 screen size is about seven inches and about five and a half inches on the uh, T30. The antennas also bigger on the T40 versus the T30 and they are actually removable. Um, so we actually have had a few guys break the antennas on the T30 remote and these antennas actually come off and you can actually get a range extender uh, to plug on to these antennas right out of the, right out of the factory. This remote here is a little bit better built in my opinion. Uh, we do have um, covers for all of our ports on top uh, that are connected and then they won't fall off whenever you undo them, which is very nice. And really good um, rubber seals around all of the buttons and knobs. Both controllers still have an internal and external battery. Nothing has changed there. That's pretty much the overview of the T30 and T40 system. So everybody asks me, you know, which drone is better? Which should I get? Well, it really just depends on what you need it for. I think we'll shoot another video to explain all that. Thanks.